Hello and good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are blessed and well. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Let's see what's going on with you guys on today. Oh, we, what this is. Forgiveness, forgiveness fell out, doubt, and relationships here. So I'm just going to take that as an omen. You have to forgive somebody, bro. And a lot of times, you don't necessarily have to let somebody know that you have forgiven them. And then trust me, true forgiveness comes with action, right? Like, you may be even tested to see if you have truly forgiven someone. You may be put in a situation to where you have to show the most high, like, look, dad, I, I've forgiven them. I've, I've purified my heart. I've purified my energy. You dig a rush cue. Um, I'm just not there anymore. What I said, um, there's a huge blessing here for somebody. There's something here that you do not see coming. I will honor the vessel that enshrines my soul. Health is here. So you're definitely working out. You're eating different or you're just taking better care of yourself these days. Honesty is here. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself and from the Lord. Correct? So it's something about being honest with yourself, telling yourself the truth. Like, look, bro, you know, uh, where, where am I going with this? Like these actions that I take, these thoughts that I have, what is it that's contributing to my victory or to a failure, to a loss for me? Even in the past, even if you have to go back and revise something from your past, there's nothing wrong with going back to revise things. You don't have to go back and necessarily deal with things from your past or people, but it's it's all it's good sometimes to go backwards and look at something, right? Especially if you wanted to do some kind of revision, like a comparison to how things used to be and how they are now. I heard count your uh, your blessings. Somebody's name is Bridget. Perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to indeed, bro. You can do whatever it is you set your mind to do. But like I said, it's like your um what am I doing this for? Is what I'm doing going to bring me good or bad karma? Humor. You could definitely be going to some kind of comedy event. You could be a comedian. I don't know. I'm picking up on this funny, giggly energy again. Pokemon, Ashton from Pokemon is significant, okay? Pikachu is significant. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There's something about lighters as well. Somebody lighters keep going out. You keep buying lighters and they go out like very quickly or something. Worry. These are those, uh, like those grill lighters. You know, those long lighters. This is not a torch or anything. This is a, one of those, uh, long nose lighters or something. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Exactly, bro. Look at failure at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. Worry does not change an outcome. It does not matter what is going on. You worrying about it in any kind of way, it's not going to change what's going to happen anyway. What we have to learn is that we're truly never in control. God is always in control. God controls everything, bro. I feel like whoever you are, all you have to do is reach out to the Most High God and He's going to make something very clear to you. If something is not vividly clear like you cannot see something and you're just like you know what dad no nah, i'm not moving forward until i understand you need to express that to him express to god how you feel he already knows how you feel he lives within you he knows how you feel he's just waiting for you to surrender and reach out to him right i can release my need to control this entire reading i can already tell what this reading is about this this i could tell what it was about before i pulled any cards this is truly about you going within and analyzing some. You're revisiting something. Somebody is, is literally doing shadow work. Like, okay, so how did I get here? What happened? You need to also pay attention to your body around a certain time. Somebody is sending spiritual attacks to you at a certain time. This could be late at night, early in the morning, while you're asleep, something. I don't know. But you have happiness here. Okay, and I feel like it's a lot of people that are going to regret doubting you. They're going to regret doubting something about you and they're going to be asking you for forgiveness. They're going to want to repair or even renew these relationships with you. And I feel like you're not going to want to hear it, but it's here. You got a lot of people now. They're seeing who you truly are in the spirit that you trust in the most high God. Somebody was blaming you for something that they're responsible for. Somebody was trying to seek revenge on you for something that you're not going to be held accountable for. You are not this person's scapegoat, is what I just heard. This person, these people will pay for their own sins. It ain't no carrying crosses and, and, and being 
nailed to it and all of that shit. There ain't none of that going on, bro. These folks are going to take care of their own sins this time. I can accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, bro. Listening to your intuition. You just not... You know what? All right, Dad. Cool. Because when God is fully in control, what is it that you can do? That's all I'm saying. The only thing that you can do is just make sure that you're healthy, that you're paying attention, and that you're just in position on your post. You have to be on your post to receive these blessings. You have to be on your post. Wherever that could be. Standing in your power does not necessarily mean cussing people out. It doesn't mean physically fighting. It doesn't mean sending up spell work. That's That's not what standing your ground is. That's not. So, sometimes standing your ground is you simply not giving up on yourself. I accept responsibility for my well-being. This, this is you accepting what fate truly is. This is you accepting your reality. Wherever you could be, whomever you feel like you are, you're accepting the fact that wherever you are and whatever you're doing and whomever you have become, it's your accountability. You're taking account for that, whether it's in a positive or a negative manner. And truly, I don't feel like anything is negative. You're where you're supposed to be at all times. Somebody is about to be shown that they were, they were guilty. Somebody is guilty of causing you all of this adversity. I don't know why I was about to say advertisement, but this person is guilty. They know they're guilty or you know you're guilty or something. And judgment day is here. Somebody was trying to project this onto you, wanting you to take the fall for something. And it's just not going to work that way. What else is here? Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just thank you, Daddy. Just thank you, bro. Because ain't no way in the world God should be this good to us, bro. We do not deserve God's grace like this. We don't. The fact that that man wakes us up every single day, bro. Some, some days I just sit and I think and I wonder how. I just do, bro. I just really, how in the world is it me? How? How is it me that you just so good to me? How is it that you just set me apart and make sure you go out of your way and you make sure I'm all right? You, you go out your way and you make sure I'm all right. I don't do everything God tells me to do, bro. When he say do it, I don't listen every single time. But that man is good and he ain't going to stop being good. I can feel his spirit all over this place. It ain't no way in the world God supposed to be this good to us and we ain't half. Bro, we are nowhere near worthy of the grace that this man provides, but he does anyway because he don't want us to feel worthless. God still gonna encourage you. He's still gonna let you know, look, baby, y'all, you made that mistake. I'm still here. Don't worry about how they viewing you. Yeah, you might have made a fool of yourself or whatever, but I'm watching you. That's all that matters. I'm listening. I'm going to be the one that transform you. I'm going to be the one that take you to new heights. I'm going to be the one. And it's so crazy because the work we do, the reward is amazing. You got to know what you are here to do. And of course, we always going to battle with principalities. It's always something that's fighting against us. And that's okay. But what you better not do is give up on yourself. Don't walk away from yourself. Man, it's been many days that I've wanted to give up. And I know people be looking at me like, hmm, she just, hmm. I mean, but whatever. What me and my dad discussed and his plans for me ain't got nothing to do with no one else. So why should I focus on someone else? I can use that energy to focus on me and my dad because only he knows truly where I'm going. It may look a certain way to many different people, but sometimes that be the illusion in itself because if you can see what God is doing, baby, you don't really know. You're hallucinating. Nobody ever truly knows what the Father is up to. Not even me. Bro, there is a major blessing here with your name on it and you deserve it, fam. Masculine, you, you've done the work, bro. I can honestly say whoever you are, you, you've done this work. You have. I see it. I mean, this is years and years of just grief and, and, and confusion, being misplaced or feeling out of place, 
feeling lack of luck or something. And I'm telling you, bro, it was all divinely guided. All of it was divinely guided. Look, I'm telling you, you got abundance and discipline. This is what I'm, this is exactly what I'm telling you. Gratitude, friendship, you found a father, you found a friend in the father, bro. You found a friend and you remain gracious, bro. You remain grateful. This is why you guys will always win, bro. By simply being grateful, bro. If you ain't got nothing but you and your breath to breathe, your health, bro, that is a blessing. That is a blessing, bro. That's some millionaires that can't even get out their bed right now, bro. Remain gracious and grateful, bro. And it's somebody that is envious of your success. And so what? So who cares? Look at service. Whatever you're doing, it's bringing peace. And you're setting a lot of people free. But this is freedom from their mindsets, bro. Freedom from that poverty mindset. Like, oh, I don't have enough. I can't get that because I'm not there. Or whatever the case may be, somebody is learning that ain't nothing too big for God, bro. Somebody is learning this or you're about to learn this. Discipline. Discipline, bro. This is why you had to be... I heard the word structured. I don't care what anybody says. You cannot be rich and stay rich if you're not disciplined. If you have no, and I mean rich in any kind of way, if you don't have any discipline, nothing that you do will truly work. You have to have discipline for certain things. And for a lot of you all, you are simply being blessed with this huge blessing because you show gratitude the entire time, bro. Your test was, were you going to remain faithful to me? Were you going to remain faithful to me when they all walked away from you? Were you going to remain faithful to me when he left you? When she left you? When they cheated? When they lied? When they stood in your face and told you, no, baby, I didn't do that. And they really did. Did you lose faith in me when you lost your home? When you lost your car? Did you curse my name when others tried to bring you down to nothing and all you felt? was anger, frustration, and hate for yourself. You didn't blame me. You showed me love. And that's why God is bringing this to you. He is bringing something to someone. I've been picking that up. You have to do nothing here. Simply take care of your body. Live in the moments. And receive. And you're still a giving person. Whoever you are, you give with no expectation. And it's like you've done so much that you forgot. Like I said in another reading, real motherfuckers do not count favors. We do not count favors. We do so much shit. I mean, who counts favors? Remember when I did this? Girl, I don't even remember. Y'all got things that you're being blessed for. You don't even remember doing certain things for certain people. You don't remember helping that person out when they really needed you. All of that good karma is coming back to you now. There will be times where life does not make sense, bro. But that's how it's supposed to be. When you're walking this path, bro, things will not make sense most of the time. You're not supposed to lean on your own understanding, but the guidance of the Most High God. And I'm not just saying that just to be talking, bro. It's the truth. And if you've actually experienced walking with God, you can what? Say amen. Somebody type amen to that. If you truly know what I'm talking about, bro. There's no way people should have no room to mind their own business. Like they're so filled with somebody else's life. Ain't no way in the world, bro. But these are empty. These, these people are empty portals is what I want to say not even vessels they can't even be used by even the demonic entities how empty could you be in low vibrational that a demonic entity don't even want to attach to you for long it just need to jump in you and do what it needs to do for right then because you right there you're convenient people got demons running away from them don't even want to be housed in their bodies because they're so filthy on the inside 
they've been taken over by so many different entities. It's like demon hopping or some shit. Get out and enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your moments, bro. Don't you be sitting in the house having anxiety attacks and shit. Man, fuck that. Go outside. Get you some fresh air. Go swimming. Go do something. Go, go do something that contributes to your growth. To something growing for you. Look at the man holding a heart in the world card. It's an ending here. Just this world card been showing up in every reading I've been doing, especially that Wheel of Fortune. That Wheel of Fortune card has been showing up a lot. Judgment, justice, the world, death, things like that. I heard feel free to do so. Action. Somebody took action and completely severed a contract with somebody. Maybe with this thinking man or something. In the reverse though, this person who never thinks of you at all. This, this person who selfishly makes decisions. Like this person will go and literally make all kind of crazy decisions and not even discuss it with you or something. Man holding a coin. And then tell me why this, this King of Pentacles is broken heart. I keep telling y'all, bro, no matter how much money you got, you just you can't do certain things to certain people. And even though it may seem or feel like you're getting away with it, you're not getting away with it is what I'm saying. You can sit behind a computer screen and, you know, try to make somebody's life miserable and all of that. God sees all of that. Just because this person doesn't physically see you, Trust and believe me, there's some kind of monitoring going on here. This King of Pentacles energy has been being watched. They've been watched severing your connection. They've been watched taking money from you. They've been watched like this person has been being watched. Woman holding the heart in the reverse. This is somebody that has no love, obnoxious and incompetent. This person right here is a narc. I keep telling y'all these narcissistic energies around you guys. Man, you got to understand, God had been working on something. So don't, bro, when you get this, do not turn away like you don't deserve something or whatever the case is, because whatever this is, it's huge. Somebody wanted you out of the community. This this blessing is so big, bro. It's huge, and you deserve it because you can just tell. God can change your life within a snap of a finger. Your whole entire life can change for the good or for the bad. You dig a real skill? But whatever this is, this seems to be years and years of something. Years of something unfolding behind the scenes. Yeah. Angel of Balance in the reverse. Leave her energy. Something was thrown off course where it is, but it will be made fair. Somebody is busy. They're busy doing something. But see, you're busy too. But whatever you're doing is contributing to your growth, your health. It's contributing to sharpening your gifts and things. What you're doing is not hurting anybody else. It's just hurting these hoes and niggas' feelings. Oh, well. The fucker I mean, okay. Door to personal healing and happiness here. You're just over here chilling. Spirit said to chill. Spirit said you need to chill. Just chill. I got you. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, bro. I don't care if my dad shows up at the last minute, sweetheart. He's going to show up. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And a lot of times you ain't even got to ask God to intervene. He will anyway. It's, God will intervene the most when it's something that you don't see coming. So that's where you don't have to worry about your protection. Don't worry about your life, baby. Do not stress. Worry came out. I am learning that worry only, I mean, worry does not change um, the outcome. It doesn't. It only stresses you out. You're, you're, rela you're relaxing and resting, rejuvenating from energies that don't truly appreciate you and what you're doing. I heard on the flip side, so something is completely flipping. Something is flipping and somebody's going to be broken hearted about it. You got to use your discernment. Be careful what you say. Be careful how you engage with people, how you react to things. And do things from a loving heart space, not from a broken heart. Wow, bro, this is a beautiful reading, bro. Because whoever you are, you deserve whatever this is. And I don't care what nobody got to say. Our angel Uriel in the reverse. Here comes somebody trying to come in with this deceit in your happy moment. There is a very important moment that you're about to go through. And here's this devil energy about to come in and try to embarrass you or take your moment away from you. 
Don't let this person in to do that. Misery loves company. Only a dang on a hater. Only somebody with no grace, favor, or nowhere to go would try to disrupt somebody's big moment. And it's like they have waited for this and they're going to get shut down right there or something. They were literally waiting for you to be in this victory energy to come in and release some kind of video or, or say something. And people are not even paying us any attention. Nobody is listening to whatever this is. It's like people have changed their hearts and minds to focus on the Father and to be non-judgmental. So, yeah, whatever this person is working on, it's not going to work. But like I told y'all months and months and months ago, even years ago, somebody is sitting back waiting for you to build something up to a certain height. And they're going to come in and knock everything over. Or that's what they're used to doing. They're trying to wait till you have a certain amount of money to come in and sue you. They're trying to wait until you accumulate a certain amount of clout to come in and try to, you know, defame your name. It's like the more they got, the harder it'll be. I can hit them harder. If they got a million, I can go in and sue them for a million and take everything from them. If they got clout, I can go in and turn everybody against them. If everybody know them, if they got a huge following, I can turn everybody against them. Who the fuck wakes up and thinks like that? These people do. Why is it that damn important? Who, who could you possibly be for people to be doing all of this? You must understand who you are. Like I said, and stay at your post. Door to value. It's just simple and plain. You are the bag. Your door to value. This vault is open for you to partake whenever you need it. Don't be stingy with yourself, but also don't be just spending money either on shit that don't make sense. You dig a rich you? But you, you got bread right here to do whatever it is you feel. Whatever it is you want, bro. A lot of y'all do not even understand that your inheritance is like somebody's about to get their inheritance. For some of you guys, these people were never going to be able to steal your money. Because something had come out. Like in the midst of them trying to take something from you, something was already on its way out. Like somebody was already working on something. Already um, lining things up. And see, these things be taking years and years on end. Because it be way more than an inheritance, bro. These people literally be having death plots. Like they be, it, they they have so many different people involved. All of these people have to be under investigation. When the feds hit these folks, trust and believe me, they're gonna be able to put them away for life. They built so much evidence on these people that they will not ever be able to take a plea deal at all. I heard consecutive life sentences. Some of these people will receive. I keep telling some of y'all too, somebody in your family is a hitman. This person gets paid to take people's life. Um, and like you never knew or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what this could be. What's this? What, what else is here, Dad? Thank you very much for these messages. Thank you, Father God. What else is here for the collective? Loyal heart reverse round and round again. Child, you, you sitting over here pretty in your divine feminine energy. Fam, it's a need for you to shift from feminine, I mean from masculine to feminine energy, period. Your masculine is here. He wants that feminine version of you. Not necessarily this version of you feeling like you got to do everything by yourself. This man is not going to ever sit back and let you do everything on your own. This man ain't going to let you lift a bag is what I heard. You're not going to be lifting anything. You've done enough of that, bro. It's time to be taken care of. Look at the higher power. My father, our father, who are in heaven, bro. Straight up. If people don't believe in that, oh well. That's, that's on you. You dig a real skill? I mean, whatever. Don't be trying to force someone else's beliefs off on them, though. Don't be trying to make someone else feel like what they believe in is wrong. There's only one higher power. That's just period. Regardless of how you, what name you choose to use, that's what I feel. Name's just different. But it's only one source. Milk and honey. It's something here about you being completely abundant and fulfilled. And you know this is coming. A lot of you guys may have been having off sleep patterns or something. It's like something off with your sleep or with your kids. You're noticing something about your sleep. I feel like it's just you're being guided to take uh, naps or to sleep or not sleep that long for a reason because you're being attacked in your dreams or something. To the C reverse and serendipity reverse, yeah, somebody is going to have a lot of bad luck. Somebody is going to have bad luck for whatever the sentence they're doing to you. That's the truth of room. And this is somebody from your past, somebody who you do not choose to mend anything with. I feel you're going to be forced to prove that you have forgiven them though like god is going to definitely test your heart in the situation here 
He's going to test you, and I mean in a major way, to see have you forgiven someone. Have you truly forgiven somebody? You don't have to deal with people, but you're, you're going to be tested. And a lot of these karmic energies, they're just that, karmic energies. These people are meant to be left with in the past and cut off because they've already taught you a lesson so that when the test comes, you can remember like, hey, okay, I remember being in this situation. I know exactly what to do. This is going to be a breeze. What I said, fam, masculine? This is going to be a breeze. Oh, I know I'm going to pass this with flying colors. Time for a nap. Some of y'all also need to get rest. Some of y'all ain't getting enough rest. Because somebody's doing something that is not fair. By the book is in the reverse. These people are going to pay for this. I'm telling you, bro. I've been picking up nothing but energy about somebody is going to pay. They're going to pay for their own sins. I keep hearing that. It ain't no putting something off on someone else. No, you're going to pay for your own sins. People these days are not going to go and sit down and do time for you. People are waking up like, bro, now my life means more to me than that. Exchanging gifts. Yeah, times have changed, but fuck it, get a new watch. I still got the vision like the line between two dots. Young money eating, the label getting fatter, and yeah, the tables turn, but I'm still sitting at them. I'm a bad mother because the good die young. Everybody selling dreams, I'm too cheap to buy one. Man, when that cookie crumble, everybody want to crumb. Shoot that hummingbird down, hummingbird don't hum. Yeah, big money, big money, deep pockets, money tops, and motherfuckers eavesdropping. Bunch of bloods, you could call it blood clotting. What one he said? I love you, easy. What he said? And yet yeah, them tables turn, but I'm still sitting at them. Somebody named Adam. The times have changed. It just is what it is. These people are no longer in your bracket. Like you in a whole different bracket. Like y'all, look at that. Shout out, I cannot make this up. Suffering in silence twice. At the bottom of the deck, bruh. Y'all people are just, man, y'all are beautiful people. You're lovely people, bruh. And whatever this is you're receiving, trust and believe you deserve it, bruh. You deserve whatever this is. Like, everybody's getting their karma. We, everybody's getting their karma. You're, those of you all who feel the need to do shadow work, do so. If you feel you need to do more shadow work, do so. You can never not need to do shadow work. I don't care how healed you are. Anybody can do shadow work. Like, you can always purge. It's somebody also in this energy trying to use your traumatic experiences against you. They're using your trauma to go in the spirit and attack you with your own trauma. Trying to get you to bend and fold that way or something. There's a major transformation happening here. I've been picking up on this death energy really all week, but like all month. The whole month of August, it just seems like transitions and transformations and endings and just, it's, it's, it's just so many things that are starting to make sense. Choose wisely in the reverse. Heart chakra here. And then you have patience in the reverse. I'm telling you, something is going to happen. And it's like, wow, where did that even come from? You know, I, I feel you can't choose for certain events to transpire. That's just how I feel about it. You dig a real skill? Like, you can't tell people what to do, how to do it, when to do it. I mean, you can, but that don't mean that they're going to adhere to that. That don't mean that they're going to listen. Partner Partnerships and alliances. You're partnered with the most high. God is definitely about to test someone to see how they truly forgiven somebody. I don't know what this is. Crown shopper. This is something that's being hidden from you. We. It's being hidden from you that somebody had took a major loss. Somebody in this energy has taken a loss, and I don't care. But love begins, spiritual union. It's like when they when when this person is when they fall flat on their face because they will, whatever this is they're attempting to do to you because they don't got authority to do it. When they fall flat on their fucking face, it's gonna open up some kind of door for you. In fact, the door was already open. This person was trying to stand in front of the door. Let me find out you already had doors open, but you had gatekeepers standing in front of the door. Let me fucking find out that these opportunities and shit always been here. It was just somebody standing in a fucking way. Let me find out. These doors never closed. 
This motherfucker was just standing in the way. But they were energetically in your way. These, these opportunities have been here. They already been here. It was written this way. Rigged for you to be in this position here. Trapped in fear. They're scared. Somebody's shaking. They're shivering. my name Misty M-I-S-T-Y Dana Deanna or something like that Dante what else is here I keep hearing Swanson okay Cortez Carter Carson movement choices decisions in the reverse discontent and boredom in the reverse you have to make a decision or you made a decision already. Yeah, and whatever that decision was, someone else is suffering in silence because they cannot rejoice and celebrate with you. And they're not they're they're not understanding that you're truly not sad or mad or something. Somebody is really trying to pressure your energetic field. This is somebody sending a shitload of spiritual attacks to you. And I mean they're attacking you in many different ways at one time. They're sending like a bundle of spiritual attacks. Like saying, you know how you got like, say if you got a policy, you got life, auto, and home insurance. Yeah, this person is sending an attack for your health, your love, your money, your house, shit like that. They're sending, it's a bulk spell that somebody does every day. September 17th is significant. It's a bulk spell. Somebody does something in bulk to you, and they just hope it takes you out completely, and it never does. You're always alerted universe solitude here memories of love in the reverse shadow movement choices no memories of love again in the reverse that's the truth the rule spirits say look at the bottom of the day that is the truth they're sending spell work to you in bundles bulk they're attacking everything in your life at once your confidence the way you speak these beauty spells like bro this is crazy but, you, I mean, what is there? You you can only expect this kind of shit from agents, bro. These people are agents. They doing their motherfucking job. Make sure you're doing yours by what? Staying at your post. There's a certain job for you to be doing where, you're, where you are. Where you are is where you need to be. Just period. You have to be in a certain space to receive some. A lot of y'all don't even understand that the Holy Spirit wants to speak a certain thing to you. What I said, child, you probably can't hear wherever this is, wherever you were. You probably can't hear the, hear the Lord or something. I don't know. God may be literally trying to reveal information to you. You may have not been dreaming or something. He may have you go somewhere and then all of a sudden you start back dreaming. Like, oh, wow, I, I wonder how I'm all of a sudden getting dreams when I left there. So maybe you need to leave then. Rest and rejuvenation. God wants you to relax and get these downloads. God wants you to receive these downloads that he's trying to give to you. He wants you to relax and receive, excuse me, these downloads. That's what I'm hearing. Ain't nobody stronger than you, bro. They trying to use you to defeat you. It's, it ain't possible for them to be stronger than you then, right? If you got people literally trying to use you against you, how could they possibly be stronger than you? 33, 44. The only way that they feel they can destroy you is with using yourself, using your own strength against you, using your own weaknesses against you. Something is going to be a coincidence, okay? I feel like you're, you're bumping into somebody. I don't know. I, I feel like something is just divinely orchestrated. And Divine Fair Masculine, you must understand that God has always looked out for you. He's always had your back. Anything that God has done for you and the things that he's doing now, it's already it was already going to go that way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So don't be hard on yourself about anything. I just feel expect good things, even though things may not appear to be all great. What I said, expect things. Change the trajectory of how you're thinking. You know, um, shift from negative to positive or whatever the case is. Don't let no negative energy take over you, bro. Don't let it dwell within you or around you. 
Y'all people immediately want to get away from negativity. These days, bro, don't nobody want to be negative, bro. Ain't nobody sitting around gossiping and shit, bro. Trying to plot somebody's downfall. A lot of these organizations are being dismantled simply because people are walking away from it. What I say, like people don't, these people don't even want to be involved. And then with the repercussions of shit, these people don't want to, they, they like, oh, I can't even think to be away from my family. Jail time, what you mean? I can go to jail for this? Oh, hell no, you, you on your own with that. You on your own with that, buddy. It's some people that don't even want to participate with this person. Because of how things may have appeared to look. It may have appeared that they were winning. But these people are realizing that, damn, we the ones in bad health. This person is of high value. Who, who you had me messing with? Why is this person still on top? How are they still alive, breathing, and well, and still being blessed in my face? And you told me this, that, and the other about that person. Something is coming up way quicker than expected. It's, you could be expecting money or something. I keep picking it up. Somebody's expecting some kind of money or you're expecting something and you're going to get it way earlier than you thought or something. This seems like work, like money from work or something here. I don't know what this could be. But see, this person thought that they were going to get a message of concern about sudden well, but instead they're getting locked up. This person is going away in handcuffs. This motherfucker right here thought that they were going to get some kind of money. They're not getting shit. But two slaps on the fucking wrist. And it will be you walking into your destiny with your money. You're not the false person. Somebody is viewing you as the real McCoy, the real deal. Like, oh yeah, y'all was playing games. This is a lot of illusions that was casted upon a whole group of people. Like these people were doing, like I said, now I'm going back to that judge I picked up on. Somebody was doing heavy spell work on this judge to make this judge write something over to them. And something happened. I'm telling you, something I cannot look at the top of the deck. I feel like this person's wife or their child or something passed away. And it's like all of the spell work that it didn't hit this person in a way that they thought. This person literally started losing shit around them, people. And this judge is going to be very concerned when they find all of this shit with this, this judge's name in this jar. His face or something or her face. I'm telling you, bruh. This, this person right here is going to prison for a very long time because they wanted this judge to rule something in their favor, take something away from you and rule it in their favor. Whoever this person is right here. I'm telling you, this mature woman does a lot of damn spell work and she was manipulating an entire community because she doesn't want to leave this home. This person needs to win at all costs. Look at what I'm trying to tell you. They were doing spell work on this judge toil and labor with judication they were doing spell work heavy spell work on this judge period and it was for this judge to say you know what yeah that does make sense for you to have that money yeah I'ma just you know forget everything I was taught in school forget everything that I sworn to do my oath that I made you know yeah forget all of that I'm going to just illegally sign something over to you, even though it'll appear to be legal. Because I'm pretty sure you cannot change nobody's will. Just period. Especially without solid proof of something. These people, whoever these people is, they don't got solid evidence of you being incompetent. And they wanted this judge to just write something off because they knew each other or something like that. And this judge, in order for them to have done this, they would have had to literally overlook some things like overlook it like oh I didn't see that and nobody would ever know what I said I, I, the judge said it was cool the judge said it was cool so you know from here I mean forget that they had a witness you know forget that they had already consciously made this under sound mind they they already written, written out this this uh I heard writ writ w r i t they already had this written for this person to receive it you know but I know them we good friends you know yeah we good friends I let them suck me up every now and then when I get tired of my wife or something like that yeah we we got a cool little thing going on so I'm gonna just overlook this and sign millions of fucking dollars over to this motherfucker here. 
You know, because they holding this shit over my head. You dig her shit? Yeah. This, this judge would have had to bend a lot of rules to literally take your name off of something and deem it to someone else. And if anything like that was done, I promise you, I promise you, these folks getting their shit for it. If they were able to take something out of your name and sign it over, trust and believe me, they getting their shit for it right now. Somebody's ego got in the way. I was trying to tell you, fam, that's me. Y'all, fam, bro, these family members, bro, they be stealing, bro. Ain't no way all of a sudden everybody in your family hates you or you're the only one doing bad. You know they say it's always that one in the family. Yeah, the black sheep, the one that everybody is stealing shit from. The one that everybody gang up together and go against. Yeah, that person that got a heart of gold. It is always one in the family. And it's only one. All of y'all other folks just be talking shit, fuck hell. Jackpot in the reverse. These folks ain't even gonna be able to see this coming. Ain't nobody gonna see this coming. Whatever this is, they're not gonna see it coming. I heard an eyewitness. Somebody gonna show up in court or some shit. Ain't nobody gonna see They're not gonna see this coming. All of it because your light irritates their demons. All of this because your light irritates their demons, honey. All of this plotting and planning because they don't like who you are in the spirit. That's just simple and plain. It's right here, plain as day. They're hating. Yep. And they can't wait. Time is up. I heard tick, 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 boom, dynamite. Somebody used to be a cheerleader. Yep. Uh-oh. They gonna be able to see you receive something. I heard in the midst of chaos. Something is going on. I don't know exactly what, but yeah. For the, the simple fact that these people tried to take your life for this shit is what I'm saying. They wanted to take you out. And then they got you involved. Like, even if they would have stopped trying to take you out, they got you involved with other people that wanted your life. They were interested in, in taking you down. These people have involved y'all with so many people. It's crazy, bro. And can't none of them beat you. These people are literally sitting back looking at you like, wow. We just cannot defeat that person. But they won't accept defeat, but they'll admit defeat. What I said, they'll admit that they're defeated, but they won't accept it. Here comes somebody with some kind of scarcity tactics. I feel like this is somebody trying to you know, um, threaten you to reveal something. Don't know. Don't quite know what that is. But whatever it is, it's messy. And it's not, it's going to backfire right on them. That's what I'm saying. It's not going, whatever this person thinks this is going to do, it's not, it's going to do the complete opposite. What's, what they're meaning bad for you is going to be good for you. What else is here? They ain't going to be able to dodge these bullets. I'm telling you, these people just didn't want to be broke. They didn't want to go broke or something, or they didn't want to ask you for anything. That's why last name asked you. That's why last name Fernandez, Holland, legal issues. I'm trying to tell you, this judge about to get their shit right right here. Somebody getting their shit in this energy. I don't care. And then, too, whatever this is, like, you're going to get what's rightfully yours. Dirty offers in the reverse. That I feel like you're getting what's rightfully yours with this uh, legal issues. I heard internal affairs. Yeah, somebody is not going to be able to fight this. Girl fight is in the reverse. They're not going to be able to fight this. I'm trying to tell you, whatever this is, they're not going to be able to fight it. Because I feel like somebody got screenshots and proof of someone threatening your life or them trying to set up something to have you, your life taken from you or something like that. It's proof of something. Bro, when I tell you, you're going you're gonna to be so shocked. Like, because you're going to know that God loves you. It's crazy. You're going to know that the Most High God loves you. Because this is years and years of something. It's like, wow. After all this time, I heard turtle justice. Yeah, it's, it's taking a while to come around, but it's finally here. And you're going to literally know. You're going to be like, yes, I know for sure that the Most High God was doing something. And he's been working. This is for years, bro. Some of y'all since 2009, 2010, something like that. Or probably longer than that. And you've just been feeling like life wasn't fair since then or something like that. It's something about a little boy and manifestation here. Let's get one more card, bro. I'm telling you, whoever you are, like I said, these doors, these opportunities, they've been here. But you got these folk right here. They were they were trying to gatekeep. They, they were gatekeeping, just period. 
you have to look you have to look at yourself a little bit deeper when people are doing all of this like damn who could i possibly be for you motherfuckers to be doing all of this shit bro ain't no way in hell you just gonna be doing this to nobody just because you don't like them a person that you just don't like man you would avoid at all costs right that's not possible for these people they're they're too much in shock how you keep getting away from these traps that they're setting for you somebody really truly can't stop watching you because they try to have you killed Divination seeking out and finding answers. Don't nobody know the day, the hour. Nobody knows. Nobody knows, bro. Nobody knows. There's just something here that nobody knows. It's something to hear. It's something about not knowing something. But you're look at the manifestations right here. Wow. It's like you don't even know. It's like it's, it's something is so confusing to you. Like you, something is so dang all confusing to you. You literally don't know something. Like you just don't know. It's like you just completely surrendered. Gave like you know what? I don't know no more. So whatever kind of energy, like okay, I can't do nothing about that. So yeah, okay. If you completely surrendered, what is this divination? I cannot make it up. I, look at this though. The devil at the bottom. But I'm just trying to say right here for him asking. Look at this six of wands and the nine of swords. You are you. This this extra anxiety and this um pressure on your your spiritual body you're feeling all of this because of this energy this is a lot of publicity somebody may like this publicity may make you nervous it's a lot of people that are watching you and you don't realize how many people truly do admire you and these are people in high places on this physical realm is what i want to say it could be something about the industry too with this devil card what else is here on this riddle fisher in the reverse yeah the six is man ain't no way the three the nine of pentacles three of wands and the knight of pentacles after being left out in the cold after a tower you have justice you have justice from these illusions bro i'm trying to tell you virgo energy five of swords three of swords god is about to see have you really forgiven someone or are you going to be able to forgive somebody what else is here on this uh, divination card? What else is here on this divination? You already know this is coming. You already know it's victory here. You know this already. I feel like you know something, but this is something that you won't see coming. Like you feel something good happening. You just don't know what it is or how it's coming to you. The emperor. Be careful about an emperor in the reverse rushing to you. They just see that you're in the nine of pentacles. They see that you're doing something and you're, you're better off without them or something. You're doing better than them. Like I felt you're in the nine of pentacles. Death card with the nine of cups. I'm telling you, hold back from whoever this person is. This could be a Scorpio. This is somebody leeching onto you. They're trying to latch onto your energy, period. It could be an Aries or Pisces here. I'm picking a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Show me your daddy. Thank you. I can't make it up. Judgment. I just, I cannot make this up ever. The Queen of Cups is receiving good news. After all this adversity, the King of Cups is receiving good news. The World Card, there's an ending with temperance, balance, sag, Scorpio energy. Just period, fam, that's fine. Top of the day, hyphen in reverse. This person did not do right by you. Somebody didn't do so correctly. And like I said, this judge about to get their shit too. This judge is gonna be, they're, they're gonna lose their position some kind of way, or they already did. Like I said, they were gonna try to retire and think that their their uh reputation was just gonna be clean. No, 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 no. This right before this person retired, they're gonna get their shit or something like that. This person is not gonna not pay for what they did to you. They're blocked, and that wheel of fortune is right here. It's like they were trying to block, like block you before fate hit or something. Child, please, you're still in the four of wands. And you're gonna leave somebody completely in the cold. I feel just choose yourself and whatever the, whatever the situation could be, just choose you. Cause these people did a whole lot of work. It's my name Keaton or something. Yeah, I cannot make this up, bro, it's over. Look at the death card. Somebody is not gonna get whatever it is they want. They're not getting it from you. They won't be getting their wishes fulfilled. 
because their wishes to get fulfilled through your death, through endings for you. That's not what's going to happen. They worked very hard on this. And I mean, this is like trying to um, tarnish your reputation and also something, but it got something to do with a relationship. You got somebody that was very invested on having somebody view you a certain way or something like that. The show Martin is significant. Somebody loves Martin Lawrence. I'm going to leave it right here for the masculine. Remember that guy loves you and so do I.